know, I write for a lot of other people that, uh, you know, couldn't make it today uh, and lost their battle. You know, we got to get after cancer research. This is the way to do it. A bunch of cyclists on a beautiful day that, uh, you know, are raising a lot of money and working hard. So, uh, go pedal. Pedal the cause. So inspiring to be around, to see the scientists, the doctors, uh, the people in the community from all different uh, walks of life interacting and sharing stories of, of hope and really all rallying around a future with a world without cancer. I love the fact that there are a two-day ride for avid cyclists and there are shorter one-day and ten-mile rides for people that enjoyed riding their beach cruisers around. It's been great, I'm telling you, everybody on the ride is, is fun and motivating and pushing everybody up the hill. I thought it was just first class all the way around. Everything was really well run, everything really well coordinated, the ride was great, the spirit and energy of all the riders and the volunteers was amazing. First of all, what an incredibly uh, well run event. I mean, really for the first time, but I mean, world class. So. The showers were great, nice and hot, and now uh, time to air out some here. I'm excited about this tent. The course was well marked, all sorts of people helping all along the way. It was really a blast. Our needs as riders were met at every instance along the course. It was a great experience for a great cause as well, and all that just came together at every turn. So the fundraising piece of it was really not difficult. Most of the people that gave 50 or 100 or, or more felt great about it because they were doing something that was meaningful to them. I'm pedaling for my mother-in-law, Holly, and my papa. They're showing up for chemo, so this is a hell of a lot easier than that. I'm riding for my wife, my family, so that they don't ever have to go through the same stuff that I do. To me, being in cancer treatment when I was at the event, it was amazing to me to see um, not just my husband, but people from all walks of life, all abilities, athletic abilities, to find a cure for cancer for something I was fighting at the, t the time. San Diego is blessed to have the Moores Cancer Center, which is one of the few NCI-designated comprehensive cancer centers, and you have the Salk Institute and the Sanford Burnham Institute, both of which are NCI-designated basic cancer centers. So here on this mesa, we have a confluence of the best doctors and the best research, all devoted towards benefits for patients and their families. Something we're going to find out today that we didn't know yesterday, and I think that's what really drives me, drives many scientists, is that the, the possibility of finding something new. It's exciting to see patients in clinic that where there's no other therapies that can be given. Um, we'll do genomic profiling, um, find a target that we can treat, treat the patient, and, and produce dramatic responses, change patients' lives. It's important to know that 100% of the proceeds stay in San Diego for cancer research that is done at the three institutions here. But it really is a San Diego-driven, a San Diego-funded, and a San Diego research fight against cancer. You know, this is very much aligned with our culture and raising money for something we care about. So let's all get on board. Let's, uh, let's form a team, join a team. Together, we can really make a huge impact. A world without cancer, it begins with me. A world without cancer begins with me. A world without cancer begins with me. And working together, we can make a world free of cancer a reality.